Hello and welcome to the Top Car Show with your host Tom Silica and Jill Maserati. <laughs> Hi everyone, this week we point our headlights towards the Beijing Motor Show. Uh, yes, thanks Jill. <clears throat> Peking, yeah, Beijing. Forget what you know about bicycles because the car is king in Beijing. Because as every Chinese cyclist knows, what comes out of the exhaust pipe here is cleaner than the air that went into it. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Mm. More seriously, some important debuts took place at the decent Beijing Motor Show. And I'm not just talking about the honky LS5, a double D-sized Lincoln Navigator wannabe that caused quite a stir. While state officials took turns to lick it, several Americans were spotted with tape measures, cameras and notepads crawling around beneath Ooh. them. <clears throat> Given that most of the pothole fields that crisscross China are blighted by bits of actual road, almost all the debutants were large SUVs with enough ground clearance to pass over small children assembling smartphones in the street. Really? Witness the mouthy Maxxis D90, unendorsable Trumpy, GS8, <laughs> delicious cherry, BF2030. Actually, Tom, it's a 2030. And finally, the Putin Award for refusing to bow to Western demands goes to the prolific honky for its Concept B luxury sedan, which features a green tea set instead of the expected cup holders. The Europeans also unveil an array of pothole-punishing hardware, including Reynolds' new Collios, which still sounds like a bowel disorder, but now looks like a very progressive Nissan Patrol had sex with a map of Paris. Oh, Paris. Oh, Paris. Volkswagen showed its Tyrannosaurus Prime, a plug-in hybrid concept that is tipped to feature in the next installment of the Jurassic Park franchise. We hear the movie, working title, Diesel Kill the Dinosaur, star some bloke called Vin. We certainly will, Jill. Ah, and, and that's it for this week. Join us again soon as we take another penetrating look at the world of cars. <laughs> what is a Trump G GS8? Whatever. What a day.